Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Serial at Midnight. My name is Heath, and in this episode, I am tremendously excited to talk to you guys about The Little Rascals, The Classic Flicks Restorations, Volume 2. Not only have we covered Volume 1, we were here at the beginning. David, the head of Classic Flicks, was in a Serial at Midnight video. We talked to him about the campaign to restore The Little Rascals, to save The Little Rascals. I brought my entire Classic Flicks collection off of the shelf, and it's, it's here by me. I, I wanted to show it off. I love these movies. Uh, the campaign to save the Little Rascals began months ago. There's been so much hard work going on behind the scenes, uh, and the, the fruits continue to bear because we have not only the first Classic Flicks restoration of the Little Rascals, Volume 1, which we've reviewed. I'll link to that in the description of this video. But now we have Volume 2. And uh, it's, I mean, the biggest thing that, I, that there is to say is that these shorts look nothing short of amazing. Nothing short. There's no pun intended. This, they're nothing short of amazing. Uh, there's a couple of special features on here, some trailers. There's a before and after restoration comparison that just so happens to be on the Classic Flix YouTube channel. So what I'm going to do is reference you there. I'm going to link to that in the description of this video. In fact, at the end of this video, I'm going to put a card up for the Classic Flix YouTube channel. So you can just click that. It'll take you right over there. But you got to see it for yourself. I'm not kidding you guys. I'm watching this before and after. And... I have goosebumps because, you know, I I say when I like, you know, I like a lot of older movies. I'm a, a big proponent of the classics. Um, it's the closest to time travel that we're ever going to get. Uh, I mean, we're all traveling forward, right? Like the science nerds are like, well, actually, it's the closest to backwards time travel that we can get. Film captures time, space. Uh, and these, these shorts from, you know, these run 31, 19, 1930 into 1931. And in fact, while I'm talking about them, let me just show you. These are the shorts that are included. I realize that there's a, like a little tab there. Let me just show you. These are the shorts that are included so you can see for yourself. I'll export this in 4K so you can freeze frame and get the best possible video quality from that that screen capture from from freeze framing so you can read um and and what i'm having a, a ton of fun with as i uh go through these is like i don't know these kids these are not the little rascals that i know and like the movie version from whenever it was in the 90s you know we're talking about like alfalfa and spanky and i don't know these kids and so i'm discovering these kids for the first time 90 Eight, 91 and 90, 91 years later, I'm discovering these kids for the first time. And it is, uh, it's magical. It is really magical. What's funny in 1930 and 1931 is still funny today. It's I mean, they're not making like presidential jokes or anything. Like <laughs> it's not Bob Hope jokes. Um, but there's just so much humor. There's so much comedy drawn from the situations. And it's just remarkable that kids have always been kids the kids and the little rascals are like i recognize them from today's generation of kids like from my own kid the things that kids do and the things that kids say they've really captured something special with these you know these came to life as uh, as our gang and then later there's actually a story here i'm gonna hold this up for you guys too so you can freeze frame that if you'd like to oh and there's the shorts right there on the bottom so i didn't even have to take the the art wrap out and show you guys but but i did uh but there's a whole story, you know, how it was, it was our gang and the, the Hal Roach Studios. They call it the the lot of fun was uh, Hal Roach's studio. Uh, Laurel and Hardy, you know, Charlie Chase. We love this stuff. We champion these things. But they get, we as the fans are, it sometimes falls upon us, right? And so we talk a lot, I say the community, the, the fan community, the cinephile community, the collecting community, as it were, talks a lot about preservation. They're like, I bought this to preserve it. This is the real preservation when you go back to decades and decades old. I mean, like almost 100 years old. You go back to film elements from the original. That's where this stuff comes from. 35 millimeter elements from the original Hal Roach film elements. When you go back to that stuff and you restore it and you're create i mean you you guys gotta see this before and after the the damage just everything is scratched everything is just so beat up and there's like 
you know, warps to the film and it's all gone. And this looks, the, the grain is magnificent. It's like I'm legitimately getting emotional talking to you guys about the little rascals. It's like being in the theater for the first showing on the first day in 1930. It probably didn't even look this good then. Uh, it is magical. I, I can't, I can't overstate it enough. These shorts are hilarious. You know, they run about 20 minutes. They're not huge investments of your time and they continue. Classic Flix continues to, uh, to, to release these. And I hope that I hope that we're supporting them, right? Because this, as I say, this is preservation. This is what preservation looks like. When you take, you know, you take your money and you take the film prints and you pay to have these things scanned in and cleaned up and restored so that future generations, maybe 90 years in the future from now, uh, can enjoy them. Uh, that's it's it makes me like it makes me happy you see how i i'm just like a kid in a candy store so uh I, I you know i don't have a lot to how do you review the little rascals they're like they're iconic you know um they're a part of the fabric of the entire 20th century pop culture landscape the the footprint of the little rascals uh is huge it goes on to this day and uh classic flicks is making sure that they live on for not just our time but for future generations so let's support them let's do what we can as the film as the cinephile community to to support these and to make sure that uh, the efforts are allowed to continue uh and so you know you've got two volumes right here i'm gonna put here's what i'll do i said i'll put a link to the description or i'll put a link to the uh that before and after restoration trailer. I'll put a link to that in the video description. I'll also put links to where you can go over to Classic Flix's website and pick these up. If you do, maybe tell them that Serial at Midnight, if there's a comment box, you can be like, Serial at Midnight sent me. I would love for, for David to know that, uh, that we're representing and that uh, just to see the power of the Serial at Midnight audience. That'd be actually really wonderful. I'll also link that in the top. I'll, I'll pin a comment to the top. So if you go to the comments, you'll see that too. Um, but I, this just makes me so happy. This is like, uh, it, it's hopeful and it's a love of cinema. You know, I love movies. I love cinema. This is the kind of thing that really gets me excited because it's, it really feels like these things are being saved. And when you see what they look like before and you see how neglected they've been and that the rights holders, that the people who had these did not feel compelled to save them themselves, that it came down to the fans to save these things that's like why this is this is history this is this is your legacy this is you know i don't know i could there's a whole other video there about paying so much attention to the now and the future that you forget the past we can't forget the past uh little rascals classic flicks restorations volume two if you don't have volume one you need to get that one too and you know what go ahead and get your order in for volume three while you're at it so this is uh it's the end of this interview. Guys, thanks so much. Let me know what you think about it. If you've been picking these up, I'd love to know what you think about them. Thanks to Classic Flicks for everything that you guys are doing out there. Uh, much appreciated. Guys, take care. Until next time, here's where to go and what to do.